show you how to make some low carb sub buns, or you can use them for hot dog buns or anything else you like. So I've got my ingredients assembled. You're going to need half a cup or about 56 grams of coconut flour, two tablespoons of flaxseed flour or ground flaxseed, and four tablespoons of psyllium husk powder. Then you're going to need five eggs, which will separate. Two tablespoons apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons olive or coconut oil, and one teaspoon each of onion powder and garlic powder. You're also going to need one cup of boiling water and to preheat the oven to about 180 Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit. Now we're going to start mixing the ingredients in a bowl. I'm just using this sort of ceramic one because in the end we are going to have to add that boiling water to it, so you probably don't want to use a, a light plastic bowl that wouldn't take the heat of it. So we'll add that half cup of coconut flour, the flaxseed, the psyllium husk powder, and the baking powder, salt, that's the onion powder, and garlic powder. Now just mix that together really well. Press out any lumps as you go. Now we need to separate the eggs because the yolks are going to go into our mixture, but the whites are going to whip separately. So if you have an egg separator, that's perfect. If not, I usually just open it up and just sort of keep tipping that yolk back and forth until all the egg whites have come out. The yolks can go directly into the powder mixture if you like now because we're going to mix them in there anyway and that saves you dirtying another bowl. Now it says to whisk the egg whites until they're stiff. Um, I'm not having much luck with my whisk. I'm going to go ahead and use a mixer. So you just want stiff peaks to form and to hold their shape like that. So that's looking pretty good. So we'll come back to the egg yolks in our dry mixture here. Go ahead and stir those in to mix well. As you can see, it's not enough mixture to thoroughly combine it. You just kind of want to, I'm just pressing it and mushing it together to get it sort of mixed as well as I can. But it's not going to be thoroughly mixed together yet into a dough. So now we're going to add the oil and mix that in. And that should help combine that better. And then the apple cider vinegar as well. See it is still quite clumpy. It's not yet forming a dough, but it's definitely moister. The next step is to gently fold in the egg whites. Now we have the boiling water and mix gently. Now, it says at this stage, if it looks too soft to shape into the sub-shapes we want to make it, which it definitely does, to leave it rest for 10 minutes, at least 10 minutes, and that will thicken it up a bit. So we'll come back in 10 minutes. Now, after 10 minutes, this is much thicker, as you can see. This is going to work a lot better. So what it says to do is divide this into four sections. So I'm just going to kind of make little marks across the top and scoop out one section of the dough. By using your clean hands, you just want to sort of form it or shape it into a sub-shape. More like a hot dog bun size they're going to be. Although I don't know if they're going to rise up and get bigger. We'll see. So just kind of shape it like that and continue on with the other three. Now with these two, I just sort of put the mixture down and sort of shaped it after the fact. With these two over here, I kind of rolled it a bit in my hands first, and I think that gave me a nicer, smoother shape. But you do whatever works for you. Now we're just going to pop that in our preheated oven for 25 to 30 minutes. And so that's been 25 minutes, and I don't really want them to get any more brown than that. 
And the texture feels pretty good too. I don't want it too hard and dry, so I'm going to pull those out. Okay, so I'm just going to leave these sit here and cool completely before I try to cut them, and then we'll try them out for lunch. So these are quite cool now, and I've just sliced them through the middle, and you can see they're, they're really nice. There's a nice bread texture. They're moist. I don't know, kind of like the texture of a, of a banana bread, but a little more firm. I don't know how to describe, but they're really quite nice. So I'm just going to cut the last one just to show you how easy it is. I'm using a serrated knife. And I'm just going almost all the way through, but not quite. And now uh, you can just pack those with your favorite sandwich fillings. We're going to serve them today with some brats and sauerkraut. So there you have it. We've served that with a little bit of fried onion on there. You probably can't see that. And mustard and some sauerkraut on the side. And i got to tell you, I've taken a bite out of one. They're quite delicious. The flavor of the bread, it's moist. It holds together. It's not crumbly and doesn't break up. And it's not an overpowering flavor. You just taste the flavor of whatever you put on the sandwich. So you could make sub sandwiches out of there. You could make any kind of sandwiches out of this. It's really quite good. I hope you give it a try.